what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so I want to talk about how to make the narcissist uncomfortable around others there are two things that makes the narcissist uncomfortable and that is when you receive a lot of attention from other people when you're the center of attention the life of the party or when someone else is acknowledging you in a very positive way the narcissist can't stand that because for one it's like you're giving away their supply in their mind you're giving away something that they feel entitled to and number two is the attention that you're receiving from other people they're jealous of it because they wish that they were receiving that attention so you might look over and see the narcissist kind of in the corner looking like very bored or uninterested in the attention you're receiving and of course they're not going to take part in it or if they do they're going to try to kind of slide in some slick insult because of course they hate to see you kind of being praised or something like that they hate to see other people celebrate you narcissists will even ruin your birthday or anything that you know that celebrates you so that's how you make them uncomfortable Another way that you can make them uncomfortable is pretty much just taking away their supply. Another way that you can make them uncomfortable is by it like proving them wrong. And you don't have to even say anything to prove them wrong. Just being who you are proves them wrong. It's like it it um it takes away you know, it just takes away the smear you know when they have made up these lies on you and they just try to make you out to be this bad person they are expecting people to give you a lot of negative backlash but when that doesn't happen that has run their plans you know that smear it doesn't stick as well as they wanted it to or it doesn't stick at all it's like when people get to know you for themselves they can't help but just accept who you present to them, who you generally are. And when the narcissist sees that their plan is not working to diminish your character and have people go up against you or question who you are, you know, once a person is around you and they get to know you and they've just been around you for a minute, you know, you may be a pleasure to be around. You may be able to hold good conversation with them. They may enjoy being in your company. And to the narcissist, they hate that because they don't know how to be that way. They don't have that type of spirit. They don't have that type of personality. They can put on and pretend to be that way by mimicking you or other sources of supply, but they will never be that real person. In fact, a lot of times the narcissist is one way to one person and another to different people they can't even keep up with the different personalities that they have to put on you know to pretend to be so narcissists hate that and that's how you make them uncomfortable and I noticed that that when people love you and they enjoy you and the narcissist is just kind of left out of the loop and their plan didn't go through you know they wanted people to hate you and not take a liking to you they don't take that very well and a bad day for a narc is always a good day. You know, so that's all I want to talk about in this video. I'm telling you, the smear does not stick when you prove the narcissist wrong by not even saying anything. You don't even have to say anything to, to defend yourself. Never have to defend yourself about a narc, the things that a narc said about you. You never explain yourself when it comes to a narcissist's false allegations about you. Just be yourself. And if people don't have good sense enough to figure that out on their own, then that's their problem, not yours. Just keep being yourself. So leave your thoughts down on this video down below. And the other two that I'm going to attach at the beginning of this video that I did the other day. So thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon. What's going on y'all back with another video? This is a quick video, something I was just thinking about. Narcissists, when they need your energy, they will
will literally hunt you down. They will look for you and pretend like, you know, they're concerned about you, your well-being, or anything. And say, for instance, if you're not feeling too well and they haven't heard from you, you know, they question it because they need your energy. And when they lack energy from you, they are desperate to kind of help you shake back so they can get that energy from you. Sorry if the wind blowing, but, um, so they'll pretend like, you know, they want to help you feel better, they'll offer you medicine, or just anything, so that you can hurry up and get back to what they need you to be. It's all about energy with a narcissist. It's never really genuine concern. They do not care about other people. They are incapable of feeling that way. It's all about what they can get from you. So just think about that. When someone is, you know, always trying to come to your aid and um, not that they really care about how you feel. They just want you to hurry up and get better because it benefits them. I know that, you know, signs like that are hard to kind of um, determine a person's true character. It's not easy, you know, to just kind of figure a person out through something like that because they may really care about you. That just may be their way of showing true empathy or sympathy but a lot of time a narcissist just want to paint a perfect picture of themselves because of course they always need people to receive them as just this overall good person so again quick video just wanted to speak on you know things that narcs do when they need your energy. Don't ever think that it's genuine. Don't think for one minute where they cared enough to check on me. They were only checking on you because they need you to be a certain way for them. And if they're not getting anything out of you, then they lack in energy. They lack your energy. They drain you out of every bit of your own energy. And when you're not giving that to them, they're not feeling well. They don't feel well. It's like a vampire. <laughs> they like vampires. They need to suck your blood so that they can feel alive again. They are energy vampires. That's just something I want to speak on real quick. I'll be back later with another video talk to you soon what's going on y'all something else i want to talk about real quick the narcissist is so draining and negative till sometimes even the flying monkeys need to get away from them so that they can reboot and recharge because the narcissist will literally drain anyone of all their energy and just the way everything about them speaks negativity. So when a flying monkey has to get away, you know it's bad. Even though they still remain loyal to the narc, they have to get away for a while, just for a minute. And if you see this wall behind me, that work? right behind that wall, there's a garden and sometimes they will sit out in the garden and um i just heard like who need to get out of there for a while it's just the same old thing every day i'm like but you choose to entertain it sometimes and it's like it's not gonna change you just say the same old thing every day but again just goes to show that sometimes people just need to get away because it just becomes too much. And like who wants to deal with that when you can choose peace? You can choose peace. And 
you know, positivity. So, again, quick video. This will be attached to the other one. And I'll probably have them both attached to my video that I record later today when I get home from work.